Hi friends, my name is Chriselle with Psychic MD, and I'm here to do another collective reading. Now, as per usual, we're going to go ahead and set the intention. I'm going to do that by burning this little, maybe not, look at that. You don't want to burn? We need fire though in this reading, okay? We need fire. So we are going to be doing a little bit of a, I guess, a magpie reading. So we'll be reading with different objects. And the topic of today, because Spirit told me to, is going to be more about your destiny. And this reading is for those that are going through it currently. If you're having a difficult time, <clears throat> If you're feeling like you can't speak your truth, if you feel like you don't know which way to go, if you're feeling confused, or even overall like boredom and dull, if you're feeling like that, been there, done that, then this reading is for you. Let me go ahead and put a little bit of incense combined with some sagey sage in here, just to kind of get us started. And I am using, um, as per usual, frankincense and myrrh because it's so cool all right <clears throat> so I want to take a moment to extend a super warm welcome to those of you that are new to my channel I hope that you find this place um, enlightening helpful amusing whatever it is that you came here for really sometimes we just want to escape escapism and entertainment so I hope that this satisfies and fulfills that need. And for those of you that are repeat offenders, I wish you the same thing. Thank you so much for stopping in. I appreciate all of your guys' time, energy, and effort. Okay. <clears throat> what I'm starting to get, actually, immediately, um, right when I finish the entry and the welcome, I'm starting to feel like you guys, some of you guys are filled with dread, dread, D-R-E-A-D. -E Sorry, my retainer makes it really hard to pronounce things too. Um, so it's been really difficult and I feel like this feeling of dread is washing over you. And this could have to do with like job or family, but I feel like for most of you guys, you don't really quite understand where this dread is coming from. Now, I'm gonna tell you the first of all, um, when I was loading my, I'm gonna call this a magpie boat. I don't know what else to call it until I call it something different. So these are different objects that I have the intention to read with. Um, I wanted to add from this little thing, some of the wishbones, right? But I had a hard time pulling out even one. So I'm going to say that this dread that is filling you could be that you are not really sure that you are going to get the wish fulfillment. I feel like many of you guys have had a lot of dreams that have been like dram, dram cocked, <laughs> pack jammed, use your words, pack jammed into something like this, like a little <clears throat> bottle. And it could be something that you're not even sharing with anyone else. And in order for that to come out, it was just really, really difficult. I feel like you've been a hold on pause. I feel like you've been really patient. And I feel like some of you guys are actually filled with dread. Part of the dread is that you feel like you're not going to get your wish fulfillment and that you would have wasted all this time, energy, and emotion. But I want to show you something. And this is like pure logic, you know. So when I was able to dig out that wishbone, <clears throat> I had to do it like this. And I'm going to say that for a lot of you guys, what you don't see coming is that your steadfastness, your focus, your manifestations are coming. But once you receive one of them, they're actually going to flow a lot easier and they'll be a lot easier to manifest. So a lot of them are tangled within each other. And I know that that's a weird reading, but I'm getting that from just the way these are all stuck together in the little vial right here. Um, <clears throat> but you get the point. So your wish, don't give up on your wishes because they're all... It's almost like they're being bottlenecked by something. And so we're going to discover exactly what that something is. Because it's not helpful if I tell you, well, yeah, it's coming, it's coming. But exactly when, what, where, how, all of that fun stuff. 
or at least what is bottlenecking it so that we have an understanding and maybe perhaps we can even work on it to really um, <clears throat> advance and further what it is that we want, right? So I'm going to see that it is going to be a steady flow. Like right now, I feel like a lot of five of pentacles, I feel like maybe you guys are feeling like you don't know where your money is coming from, when your wish is going to arrive, um, whether it's love or money or health or any of that stuff or even plain direction. And um, I have to use these cards today because Spirit wanted me to use these cards specifically. So I'm gonna go into like what it is. Maybe we'll do that. I kinda like to use the darker ones first, but let's do this. Show me what I need to see for those that are going through it. For those of you that are having a hard time manifesting your dreams, your wishes, for those of you that are having this feeling of dread, what exactly do we need to know and show me now i want two cards from this deck please yes you're divinely protected you are safe and supported while you change your career now i'm gonna really i know these are a little bit different readings than what's typically out there on youtube um but also just know that you're here for a reason like you landed this channel this specific reading for a reason and I want to tell you that if you are undergoing like major career changes or things like that if you're looking for a job that you're divinely protected that things are going to sort themselves out and I know that that's really difficult to hear when you receive for example like a light bill or your car note or your mortgage and it's like well yeah when is that going to manifest exactly um and I'm, I'm going to ask you to kind of take a little bit of a leap of faith I know that that's um, you put a lot of fear. It's fear-based thinking when we are, we're freaked out and we have no idea, you know, where our money is going to come from, how things are going to work and all of that. But you are divinely protected. Allow spirit to really perform miracles for you and show you exactly where that money is going to come from. Show you exactly. It's like, okay, if I'm divinely protected, show me, show me how, show me how it gets better. And show me how um, I can manifest this. I trust in you, universe. And um, show me how rather sooner than later. Okay. So um, another thing that before we open, um, <clears throat> while I was meditating and setting up, let's see if this will actually come on camera. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Okay. So I feel like what's going on with you guys are very much, let's get the smoke out of the way, I guess, very much like what is going on with this um, amethyst. Let's see if we can bring it in some more. Maybe. Okay, so what I feel like what's going on is that you guys are actually encased in a protective, um, protective little bubble. Now, I can't remember if this is one of my little in hydro um, stones, which is the ones that have like the little, little bubbles in there. Let's see if we can bring that closer. Get a little closer. Don't be shy. Okay, so I feel like you guys have, you know, spots of clarity. Okay. Sorry, you guys. I'm seeing the number three, the number W, the number W, <laughs> the letter W. And actually, let's see if we can get bring this into being. Now, some of you guys also are a little bit too um, stuck into like conspiracies and things like that. And what I'm seeing is that this is making you sad. It's making you kind of depressed. Um, it's a time to take a break, okay? But what I'm seeing is an eyeball, a nose, and then a big old frown. So let's turn that frown upside down. There has to be a balance. And I know everything about extremism and nothing about moderation. So I'm just gonna tell you from Spirit's experience, not my own, okay? Some of you guys may have a little pet that you're thinking about, concerned about, one, two, three, four little, little toes. Okay, and then this is like the paw pad. It could be a kitty, it could be a doggy, or any other little critter. 
but that could be on your mind. And all of a sudden, I'm seeing like this big old smile. So I feel like this animal, this pet makes you smile, makes you laugh. But like spending more time with that pet is going to really alleviate some of that, okay? Okay, back to your other reading. <laughs> Here. But anyways, my point in that is that you are actually, um, you have tools around you to be able to lift up your vibration because when we're feeling good, when we're feeling positive, we tend to attract good and positive things, right? Simply on vibration alone, it's the same thing as tuning into a radio frequency. And um, so that's going to be very important for you to remember during times that we're tempted to be stressful, um, tempted to feel like insecure or freaked out by things, by life, whatever to know that you are divinely protected and to add to that protection with a layer of optimism, with a layer of, you know, I don't know how things are going to go. Um, I personally have a lot of things going on right now and that's exactly how I personally feel. But, um, you know, it's not going to do me any good to give into that fear and continue massaging those ideas. Like, for example, if you're looking to get a car, if you had your car repoed or if you lost your job or if your marriage fell apart or... Um, if somebody moved out or if you have empty nest syndrome or um, if you caught somebody cheating, whatever your case may be, it's not going to really be conducive to massage into your mind. Oh, you know, I can't believe in this person. You know, it's good to kind of result problem solve and think things through and allow space for your emotions to um, process. Okay. But in that process, don't get lost in the sauce. And this is really key for you and it's really key for us okay um don't get lost in the sauce and in the emotion of things if you feel like you're constantly like anxious and worried and whatnot i would suggest turning around and making a list of things um when you're feeling better not when you're feeling in a funk you know of all the things that cause you joy like for example that little pet that animal or for me i love to do reading so it's my quick pick me up in a lot of ways um, helping other people and sometimes that could be an extremism and it's like self-medicating and things like that but whatever it is and everything in moderation and once again I am not a therapist or a counselor but this is just advice that I'm getting as well okay from the divine and from my own personal experience channel messages through cards whatever um <clears throat> show me what I need to see for those that are going through it, those that need some direction, some help, some divine guidance, and this protective card here. Show me why these are here. The wishbone that wouldn't come out. Everything's so difficult. Feeling stuck. Stuck energy. Stagnant. But you're actually spirit saying you're not stuck. You are divinely protected. You are encased. Encased. Very much the way that crystal is. That has like a little anhydro water bottle bubble that moves up and down. Um when you rock the um the little crystal it's like it's encapsulated within that okay and so you're divinely protected and show me now family okay loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose so look at these angels, this angel's barefoot, this lady's barefoot, everybody's barefoot. And it's interesting because initially I saw a bunch of ice. And I feel like maybe there could be a lot of iciness within family members, um, within you and family members and things like that. And there's like a fine balance that you have to traverse. Is that the correct word? If it isn't, replace it with something that's more fitting. <laughs> okay. But... I'm going to say that a lot of you guys are undergoing like some family issues, some things that really um, isn't quite settled. Oh gosh, don't fuss with the camera because you'll mess it up. Yeah. Um, so there, there could be issues right there and that makes it just even all the more difficult. Okay. And I definitely understand that. Um, I feel like you have a very healing angel right here in order to really help you to cross that bridge if that's something that um you know is going to behoove you and help you and again i am not one to really believe that well you know family is family that is true but they also need to behave like it okay so i don't make excuses for people that are abusive or narcissistic or um really self-centered and people 
you know, whether family or not doesn't make a difference. If they're not really on the same vibrational wavelength as you, um, and in fact, if it's depleting your energy, then I suggest getting out for sure. Okay. So show me more about this, about anyone watching this that is going through it. Show me more about this and show me now. Okay, so we got two. <clears throat> we got study and nutrition. So your your conduct you with la, 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 la. sorry. You conduct healing work with your culinary culinary skills. Wow. <laughs> that was a mouthful for real. So whatever it is that um and that's really interesting. Okay, so nutrition can be a really big thing. You could be focused on nutrition um, and even subconsciously prompted by nutrition. Okay, and I'll explain that to you in just a moment. Um, but whatever it is that you're cooking and, and making or putting together, however you want to think of it, is um, and just be sure if you can focus on the moment. And not cook, for example, like thinking about the breakup or thinking about the shakeup or the car that got repoed. If you can simply um, focus on what it is, the task on hand, what is on your fingertips and the fragrance of this rosemary and the olive oil and the textures and the flavors and the aromas that are um, coming through and the colors and the vibrancy and all of that stuff. I think it's going to be a lot healthier for you as well. Now... For some of you guys, I feel like, um, if you're like me, <laughs> it's again, uh, you know, we have to focus on our nutrition and, and yeah, everybody does, but some of us, especially, and that is your building block. That is what's going to really help you. Um, and yesterday I was really prompted to go buy some ingredients in order to make, um, an anti-inflammatory like smoothie type thing. But everything that I wound up buying and putting together yesterday was with like intent. And it wasn't like, oh, I'm going to, you know, flush out my system. I'm going to reset this. I'm going to do that. It was just with the intent of I felt like that resonated with me at the time and I did it. And then when I read about the ingredients that I was actually utilizing, it just really all came together and made sense. So you could be feeling led to ex experiment with things like Mediterranean diets or, um, utilizing uh, detox ingredients, shakes, or whatever the case may be, in order to really help yourself feel better, hello, and perform at your um, optim optimal performance. Is that how you say it? That's how you say it now. Okay, so study, reading, research, and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. So again, we have like career things going on here. So maybe you guys have a side hustle. Look at the wisdom of the owl here. The owl's like, do you see me? Do you see me now, friend? And the owl's also saying, hey, I see you struggling. I see you in a fog. I see you being uncertain and even waffling and teeter-tottering from time to time, feeling like those dark clouds are going to overtake you and that you'll get into a negative mindset. But I also see you overcoming. I also see you feeling out your own intuition, following your own intuition. And I see you being drawn to the material that you need to read and study and having that trust and that foundation. Now I'm looking at this angel and he's got like this key right around his neck. And I feel like you've always had the key around your neck, so to speak, right? I feel like it is divinely gifted. And maybe some of you guys are going to be like public speakers with all of the blue right here, or there is simply a truth that you need to express for some people to hear. That's going to be very healing in, in every which way. I heard every which way and under, but I don't know what that means. I don't think it means anything. So reading could be really important and uh getting clar clarity about your career okay this uh, the more i read the more it's obvious it's career oriented so this is about leaning on family and family for emotional mental spiritual support for maybe even just being honest with your family and saying hey <clears throat> you know this is what's going on with my career maybe you got demoted maybe you um got fired maybe you uh, maybe you got transferred and you weren't really happy with it. Maybe your job description changed and, uh, maybe you're working from home and now you have to go into the office and that's not conducive to the lifestyle that you've set up for the past couple of years. 
Um, maybe you have a brand new baby and it's easier for you to work from home or, you know, I don't know your life. Everybody's going to be different. So go ahead and take what resonates and of course, as usual, leave the rest behind. Yes, okay, bottom of the deck. <clears throat> and I call these kind of like my dark cards, but they're not really dark. They're just really, <laughs> they're really honest, but they're hard to see a little bit. So I have the wealth card, obviously self-explanatory, right? And this is all about focusing on your finances, focusing in. I feel like even wealth includes family, family of choice, family of origin, people that make you feel like family, friends, your tribe, essentially. And I feel like things could really be gnarly. Like, I don't feel like you've had it easy. Things have been really tangled. Because um, really a grapevine sometimes doesn't look all that pretty. You could have parts of them that are like really woodsy, which I personally believe they're pretty um, because I like everything that's kind of odd like that. That's why I really try to bring the outside in because I have um, the fortune to be able to bring things like that indoors. Anyways, I digress. But uh, things could have been really like twisty turny for you during your career, growing up, um, about your wealth. It's like, okay, I'm doing this and then now I'm on this road. Now I have to turn here. It's like a lot of unexpected turns. But what you don't see is that all those unexpected turns, those experience are creating really clusters of grapes. And no, not cluster Fs. Okay, guys, I know how you think. Otherwise, you wouldn't be on this channel. But um, I feel like this has everything to do with your wealth. I'm going to gain more clarity. And I feel for you. And Spirit's saying, you know what? We have your wealth. And I know it's really difficult to hear other people say, well, you got this. Ugh, please don't say that. That's so rude. <laughs> But, you know, in the end, we really do got this. Why? Because Spirit's looking after us and keeping us protected. So, and protected from what? Sometimes things transpire within our jobs. Like, we could be around toxicity and toxic culture. Oh, my gosh. I got a flip right here. I'm taking it because this is my all-time favorite card in this deck. Anyway, so we can be around all sorts of, like, toxic scenarios at work. Um, and who knows? But, like, if you're in a partnership... Um, if you're married or whatever, and there could have been a situation where, you know, you started being tempted by someone, let's say, and that was just going to really kind of destroy everything that you built up. Maybe you got taken off the path for that. Maybe perhaps this place is going to crumble within the next few months and you got taken out prematurely, not prematurely, but, um, you got taken out so that you wouldn't experience the fall of the actual, um, business. Okay. So whatever it is for others of you, I feel like you are actually building your own business and you're not really entirely sure what it is. I think that you're, there's a lot of stuff. You could be taking online courses, studying about nutrition, and maybe you're into like physical fitness. Maybe you're into nutrition. Maybe you're into academics and wanting to, um, develop your own courses perhaps, right? like a master class, but I do feel interestingly, I feel like you have a lot of eyes on you. And I feel like for the sunflowers that are kind of like turned away and drooping down, I feel like a lot of people are sad that maybe you've left their life or that they've walked away from you and they've made really bad choices concerning you. But for the most part, I feel like you have the support of a lot of people. Now that doesn't, camera, come on, cooperate with me, eh? Thank you. Now that doesn't like fix everything, right? But the fact that I feel like you have a solid tribe, you have like, I feel like a good reputation. I feel like you present well. And I feel like the sun in this position with the wealth in that, it's like you're going to come into good money here soon. And even better than that, I feel like you're coming into a sense of abundance and wealth. And um, abundance can mean, you know what, I have everything that I need and then some to share with other people. And I think that's really, really cool. Um and one thing I want to point out that's like really probably obvious to all of you guys, but abundance doesn't have to be like all material things. I feel like a lot of you guys are understanding, coming to an understanding that even with like a concrete floor and then maybe a bed or a bed roll, that we are blessed to be able to breathe, like have to be here for another day, to be able to have choices and options, to be able to have the freedom to the extent that we have freedom. Okay, and I say that tongue in cheek, I guess, because not only current world events, but um, your freedom can be really hemmed in 
uh, by many different factors. So it doesn't have to just be like, oh, you know, the obvious we're on lockdown, we're, you know, we're not able to cross state lines or we're in jail, we can't get out because whatever, whatever. It doesn't necessarily have to be the obvious, you know, your freedom can really be hemmed in by a partner that is extra controlling or by obligations or, um, by expectations, you know, any of those can really hem you in. And so if this is resonating, then know that's a confirmation for you that uh, you have toiled not in vain in all of these turns and all of this thing um, that has transpired throughout your life. I feel like you've not had anything handed to you, by the way. Um, I feel like a lot of ice. Sorry about the dogs going crazy downstairs. I can't control that. Um, but I feel like you have broken through some incredible dense um, ice, okay, for lack of a better way of putting it. Like you've not handed, you've not been handed um, any resources or whatever, but I feel like you're right, really intellectual. I feel like you're divinely protected and you have a lot to offer um, other people around you. And that's why you're so protected. It's not just about you. Um, I just want to say like, you know, I mean, it's kind of like all about us, but it's really not. It's about everyone. It's about, I heard one love. It's about knowing that you're divinely protected and standing up fiercely. I feel like it's about speaking your truth. Some of you guys have a book in you. Some of you guys are writing a cookbook or I'm um, considering it. Some of you guys are collecting recipes from your loved ones, kind of like um, yeah, being handed down from person to person, that kind of a thing, in order for those recipes not to disappear so that your uh, family lineage has something that they can reflect upon in the future, um, things like that, okay? So, I hope that that is helping a little bit. Now, show me what I need to see. Why is the study here, the nutrition, the protected, the family? Show me why these cards are here, please. For my friends are going through it meaning direction, support, and wisdom, and show me now. Yeah, what's up? That's what's up. Okay, here. You know what? These cards are probably the best thing that I ever stumbled upon. I don't even know what they're called. <laughs> magical, magical. Hold on. Because <clears throat> some of you guys might want to look into getting something like this. And of course, not affiliated, just here. Um, magical spell cards. Okay, by Lily Cavendish. So divine guidance whispers from the beings who shine. Let their message be clear and kind. So I feel like, again, you are getting your own downloads from the divine. And that's one thing that I was going to say is maybe during the times that you spend in solitude that you're creating, maybe making a meal, simple things like that, where we actually can actually go into, if it's a sandwich, maybe you can go into like a trance or maybe during meditation, you can go into a trance and get your own messages very easily from the divine. So I want to assure you, um, friends that these messages and like how people read and you're like, oh, you know, you have to take a lot of practice. No, you can actually get your own downloads and messages and your own direction as well, because this is open to everyone, everyone that chooses the right frequency. And if you choose, you know, to, um, convene with the divine to really get your own messages to make that clear. I think that you can make that intention clear and you too can get your own messages, but I feel like it's all around you only if you're open to it. Okay. But you definitely have divine guidance with three to me, that's creativity. And it leads me to this card fertility, by the way, creativity, fertility, cooperation, throwing in your lot with other people, utilizing whatever talents you have on hand in order to like forge a new way. Um, and I feel like maybe it could be a trailblazer or a pushing through to make something divine and different for the world. And I feel like this is, um, a lot of you guys are like light workers and humanitarians and things like that. You extend a light to other people. And this is, I don't feel like your mission is necessarily to be like, oh, I got this contractor job. And that could be great. If that's you, that is excellent. But I also feel like you, it lends itself to something deeper than that. Because when you rub elbows with the other contractors and the people, um, within that circle, I feel like you can make a really big difference just by your integrity, your philosophy, your belief system. Something about you feels really solid, really optimistic, very calming and peaceful. And I would not be surprised if you guys have healing hands, okay? Um, even with this hand being extended, I would even ask if that's something that you're interested in, is uh, to really ask spirit 
um, for healing. And don't be afraid to utilize that healing on yourself because sometimes first we have to heal ourselves in order for us to be able to feel good enough to be able to help and heal other people. Okay. And, um, I'll give you another personal example. It's like TMI, but here we are. Why stop now? We haven't ever stopped before. <clears throat> so last night I, for, I've been struggling with, um, some major health issues with my lower back and uh, sciatica, which I fondly call my psychotic nerve acting up. And it's put me in a really bad way physically. Um, and I just really kind of focused on that. And I was meditating before going to sleep and focus I had an intention. I felt my hands like really warm up and get really, really hot. Now, I don't, I haven't considered myself like a healer. I've been told, but I really haven't considered myself like that. Um, but my hands started getting really, really hot and kind of radiating. And for me, that's really quite unusual. So I set the intention and I placed my hand wherever it was that I felt like I needed the healing. Okay, so you guys can be divinely guided to do things like that. Okay, of course that doesn't. For you guys watching, this is not uh, replace medical help, of course. Okay. Goes without saying, but I feel like you could be looking at the sky, at the stars, at spirit, at nature itself in order to receive your divine guidance. Okay. And I'll give you another example before I move on with the fertility card, which actually kind of ties in quite nicely. Um, <clears throat> you could be drawn, you could be drawn like me here. It comes, here's the lesson, lessons that I'm learning. Give me one second. And hopefully you're always learning, right? Um, but here is your typical pine cone. We know what that looks like. Super cool. We know that they have little um, pine nuts that could be edible if picked properly and processed, whatever. But super cool, right? There's your pine cone. Um, there is your pine cone that has been completely this is like corn on the cob for squirrels and other little critters but check this out so i did not know that this was actually the same thing did you know okay so obviously i'm not from around these here parts okay <laughs> but i love the fact that i can just learn new things and to me it really like picks up my vibration it really makes me super happy to know that there was a little squirrel that was feasting and left the little fish carcass because to me now this looks like it's abundance to me and so your divine guidance is you know doing whatever it is that really serves to elevate you whether it's painting or collecting little things for like a lab uh, magpie reading such as what i do um, or learning different things about nature that really just kind of strike a chord with you Okay, so that could be something, but I feel like that is directly tied to your abundance and how you look at things in this manner is going to really serve um, to make a big difference, okay? Because there are lean times and then there are flush times, but also if you're looking at this from a perspective, to me, these look like fish, you know, and let's say there's not like a lot of food available and things like that. I mean, we can make a lot of soups and things like that with fish, with the carcass of, and that's actually very, very healthy compared to the rich foods that we're um, accustomed to. And <laughs> when I say we, I mean me. Okay, let's face it. I love my pizza. Don't judge me. But uh, I'm going to say, I mean, look at this. It's just, I think it's so cool. But uh, you can utilize almost every part of this fish in order to really feed family and things like that. And I feel like that ties into your abundance. I think that your level of creativeness, I think that also you're being gifted wisdom from above, from the divine, <clears throat> um, uh, different ideas on how to utilize things, how to do things. Um, I think that you are looking at things from a perspective that other people do not. And people might even think that you're totally like crazy, wacky, like me. But that's okay. We don't care. The bottom line is that we have so many gifts that we can bring to the table that other people don't even begin to understand. I mean, think about what comes to mind is how the t-shirt was initially invented, you know, and everybody was wearing, I guess, like long sleeves at the time. And the wife was um, quite perturbed at having her husband come back and the sleeves were not coming clean from whatever it was that he was working at. And she just cut them off. 
Hence, you basically have a t-shirt. <laughs> that's, that's what's rumored. Anyways, so um, I think that listening again to whispers from the divine, um, knowing that you're getting your abundance, even putting intention and setting intention like help me to see what can increase my wealth direct me to direct my feet directly on the path of my career whether it's making my own like clothing line or whether it's writing books or whether it's making music whether it's collaborating with other people creating resources or whatever it is um you know setting aside those intentions and just free flowing just even having a notebook and saying okay well my divine guidance or call it divine guidance if you want and uh, be able to jot down little ideas. And I, I do that a lot. So I have notebooks and I'll have like, you know, just words in them. And then I'll go back and revisit and I can utilize them for something. So a different uh, story for everybody. Okay. Moving on. Fertility. This is time. <laughs> this is a time where Russell keeps everything PG. And she's not going to say what's on her mind at this time. Okay. But I'm getting a little bit of like Little Red Riding Hood vibes. I think about this girl actually foraging uh, for figs. Is that a fig? That's what it looks like. But um, I think just going and, and taking little seeds and little kernels of wisdom, you know, and understanding that everything is good for something i feel like you're returning back to nature i feel like all this has to do with nutrition you guys could be looking for berries or collecting berries or looking like dandelion or making your own colloidal silver or things anything like that that is going to be really helpful off the grid and something that um, you are actually building for yourself or your family for your loved ones and I love that. Um, it's a little bit like the homesteading vibe for me. And I, I'm all in. Okay. I love that. But also with the Little Red Riding Head vibes, I do feel like you have the big bad wolf looking at you. And the, this is um, other people that could be like looking. And actually, you could have a couple of stalkers there as well. Um, people that don't have your best interest at heart, even though they mouth, yes, I want the best for you. So we all know that, you know, sometimes what people say isn't necessarily the truth and the best indication of that is always going to be their actions and also their past actions and if you've been around somebody who is a constant um deceiver then you could probably expect more of it i'm not saying people cannot change but i'm definitely saying that uh that is your red flag okay to kind of be on guard so we're going to close this reading out with these cards what are these cards Dun, dun, okay. Oh, they're Archangel Oracle cards by Dorian Virtue. Show me what I need to see for those that are going through it, for those that need a new direction, new career direction, and show me now. Oh, okay. We're getting quite a few. Okay. These are the cards we're taking. Let's start here. Passion. So what are you passionate about? What leads me back to like what, um, don't think about money and finances and it's really hard to do if you're in a crunch right now. I totally get that. But what is it that you have a divine passion for? What is it that really stirs you? What gets you excited? What keeps you maybe even perhaps studying? What is it that you secretly study um, at night? And with the owl, I heard um, you. <laughs> So maybe perhaps you guys are studying yourselves. Maybe you're learning a little bit. Um, what is that human? It's a it's a basic map of like your abilities and your interests. And then you kind of merge them and you kind of meet in the middle on what your talent is. Human design maybe. Okay, maybe human design. But there might be a message in there for you. But look at what your passion is. And trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. Look, you saw me shuffle. Here's career. This has to be a career reading. Maybe you guys are just fed up or you have a side hustle that you want to bloom. A lot of you guys could have like this beautiful curly hair or you could love wigs or you could have something like really outstanding. It has to do with your hair. And I love that for you. I'm all about like the fun hair. What else? Don't fall down. Don't fall down. Okay. Clairvoyance, Archangel Raziel. 
it always feels like awkward pronouncing these names. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing most of them. So I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. And yeah, I feel like this is about, I know it's funny, but I feel like this is about love. This is about intention. This is about realizing that, um, you know, I, I do periodically watch a lot of TikToks and a lot of things on YouTube. And there's a lot of like toxic education or toxic culture going on out there to where we think that it's fun and it's amusing um, to be able to retaliate or, um, you know, string other people's emotions or whatever the case may be. But that's really the wrong path to go. And I'm not going to lie. Sometimes those things are really funny. <laughs> Um, but when I engage my higher self and I really think about things, I mean, I'm never about like ridiculing people or hurting other people, um, or smear campaigns and things like that. But there's also a toxic culture about like, well, you know, you're going to get this because you did this to me. Or I even look at readings that say, what's your karma for hurting me? And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. And so I guess no shade on those that are doing readings like that. But I think... I hope that nobody who's attracted to those kinds of readings expect that here on this channel. Um, cause we're not about, you know, we understand karma, um, but we're not about passing judgment and trying to deal out karma on other people. So this is about clairvoyance, about just having a knowing, having a vision, a sight far beyond anyone else, um, that might, they might have. Okay. I feel like that falls in line with your entire reading because I feel like you're going through the path of, um, what do they call it? Because in the moment, my brain just goes boop, flat line. Uh, anyways, a road less trouble, basically. But uh, with your clairvoyance, I feel like you are getting a lot of downloads, a lot of messages. I feel like you know you're divinely protected. Look at this angel is divinely protected. Um, you could even periodically feel wings around you, kind of like giving you a hug. And I feel like also there's going to be a really important thing about you. Um, during this time, <clears throat> if you warm up your hands like so, and then <clears throat> go ahead and place your right hand on your heart. And I feel like just breathe. Do nothing but breathe. And I feel like you're going to be able to kind of awaken your heart even more. Um, bring in more love. But I also feel like you're going to get more downloads about this issue specifically. Those of you that are going through it in your career or you want a career change, you're burnt out, you can't take it no more, whatever the case may be. Um, I feel like doing that and like warming up your heart chakra literally and even wearing green i'm a big fan of utilizing everything at your fingertips you don't have to like spend a lot of money to really manifest or to really change your life just go ahead and utilize what you have around you but warming up your heart chakra is going to do wonders for you i feel like you're getting downloads and things like that and also you could be really even focused on your chakras as well okay um <clears throat> but your clairvoyance is even more so popping. I think it's awakening even further. And moon cycles. Yeah, you could be really um, in tune with moon cycles. So you might even want to jot on your calendar just for funsies, as they say. Um, you know, it's kind of feeling this way today. And then look on the calendar and log that down. And see if maybe perhaps you are pulled and drawn by the moon itself. Because, you know, the water, if we're mostly water in the ocean is water obviously um the, the ocean tides really respond to the moon then why would not why would our bodies not respond to the moon similarly so just an idea for you if it resonates great if it doesn't toss it out take only what resonates archangel haniel notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles so you could have a lot of fog around this i feel like um even with the three and the three flames in the back, I feel like this is going to serve to really banish a lot of like that fear, that dread, that impending doom that you guys have been feeling, even especially at nighttime if you suffer from like night terrors or um, yeah, have the inability to sleep and a lot of anxiety at night, whatever the case may be. I think that this would really, really help dispel a lot of that darkness from you. Of course, with setting around protection, um, that is going to help you as well. But I'm seeing a lot of blue right here. So I feel like a lot to do with the spoken word on what it is that you feel 
um, oh my gosh, you can't make this up, you guys, what you feel like is coming um, or what it is that you are meant to do in this life and start out with what gives you joy. That's the biggest message right here. Continue doing what gives you joy, what gives you warmth. And you are safe. Archangel Michael, I'm protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones and your home. And so know that not only are you divinely protected, um, but your loved ones are divinely protected. And I got to point out also, if you look right here, like this to me, almost like the brown um, wing color, to me really looks like wood. So you might have a connection to nature, need to get out more like I do. <laughs> Um, but with the white on the outside, I feel like your secret weapon, your secret power, secret protection is to really go ahead and get into nature as much as you can. Now, I was hiking before my back injuries became a thing again. But um, in whatever capacity, even if you can go outside and touch a tree, hug a tree, talk to a tree, sing to a tree, yeah, I'm that girl. So um, you might want to consider doing any of those things. I mean, it can't hurt. So why continue patterns that are not conducive? Um, try different things and see what works for you. Another thing that might really help you is earthing or walking around barefoot in, um, in dirt and grass as you are able to. That is the quickest way for grounding. So there are different ways and you can look up grounding and how to bring that into your home directly. I actually um, read this thing where it talked about you can um, buy like a copper wire and then throw it from your window into the ground, you know, like into a thing, into the ground, put it in between your mattress. And that's like one of the quickest ways to do earthing. Now it's weird. I realize that. But am I beyond that? Absolutely not. So you do whatever's conducive to you. Um, again, greenery, plants, and things like that are going to help you. But follow your inner guidance, your inner compass. I, I really um, cannot stress that enough. So if you enjoy this kind of reading, do smash that like button, share, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know if you want more of these kind of readings. Or if not, you know, I'm a loose cannon. I'm a wild child. I'll be doing whatever it is that I want. Thank you so much. And until next time, namaste.